Okay, I'm going to show a uh, repair on this uh, stock. I bought, when I got this, I, I just got it uh, real recently, but uh, you can see here, it's got like some uh, brown crayon, like hole filler, uh, or crack filler for wood. Apparently, somebody originally, or, or so at some point, somebody put in, put slings on this, and then somebody else took them off. They filled the holes with this uh, brown uh, crayon-like stuff. And it looks all right. Uh, works all right. Uh, <clears throat> you know, you really almost don't notice it unless you're looking for it. But anyway, I, I was, I was uh, watching the Magnificent Seven the other night. And uh, I noticed they didn't have any slings on their guns. Of course, they just keep them in a holster. I'm sorry, in a, in a scabbard. And then if they leave their horse, they go pick up the rifle and carry it in a building or whatever. But if they're going any distance, it's always in a scabbard. They're on slings. But I got to think, well, I'll put a sling on this because if I get out hunting, I want my hands free so I can carry stuff. So I went and grabbed some uh, some mounts that had the coarse thread like for wood in it. And the front stock was just like the same thing. But And so what I did, I took a toothpick and kind of dug out the plastic what I could, but I was in my room with the lights dim watching uh, watching the movie. I wasn't paying attention, and and what I did to the front stock was this. I don't, of course, they had a hole. The hole's not centered anyway, but I was just going to screw in that uh, the fitting onto that for the sling, and I wasn't paying attention. I was kind of pushing on it, and I thought it was going to engage to go in, but apparently. They had a smaller diameter thread and it just started it just cracked up and peeled if you can see that there it just cracked up jacked that all up made me sick but i couldn't even see it was happening and then you know watching the screen and tried to turn the screw about 10 times i finally stopped and looked see what was going on and i saw that it wasn't going in it was just it was just tearing that up and i think that might have had a little bit of a crack from the prior screw they may not have drilled a whole lot big enough but anyway, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to fix this. And what I'm going to do is I, I got some walnut. I use my Dremel tool with a little sanding uh, drum drum head on it. And I, sand, and I sanded a corner of a piece of walnut. And I got a little pile of walnut dust. And I'm going to mix that into uh, some epoxy. And then I'm just going to take and just fill this real good with epoxy. Then let it cure. Then I'll just sand it down smooth. And it will probably look a lot like this. You know, it'll be brown, but it won't have the grain show, but it'll be hard. And then I'll come back and, and probably take this off, put my drill press, center it, put a nice screw hole in it, uh, sized for my, for my, uh, my, uh, it goes my brain again, <laughs> my shoulder strap fitting. And then uh, put one in, get it centered nice and, and and rig it up with a strapped carry. Uh, anyway, I guess I don't know if you can see that real well or not, but it just it made me sick. Those beautiful walnut stock, and it's all kind of cracked and jacked up. But I think when I get done, it will not be noticeable. And, and with the hard epoxy, if I set up my drill press and drill it, I can get the hole centered nice, nicely, and uh, get it get it done. But anyway, I'm gonna pause it now. I'll get everything ready. And then uh, I'll turn it back on here. Okay, let's see here. Get up here. Let's see, okay. There, I got a big blob. I mixed epoxy uh, and two part epoxy and walnut sawdust. Filled the hole and the, the gap. And uh, I'm going to let that cure and then I'll come back and sand it down. Okay, this hasn't set up yet, but here's a picture. This stuff, uh, thanks a 24 hour cure or 12 hour cure. It's been a couple hours and it's still kind of tacky. My sample's uh, sticky, so I'm just going to let it sit up for a day or two. 
and I took and blew hot air on it after I put it on there and it made it kind of runny and smooth out and it popped a few bubbles out of it. So hopefully when I sand it, I won't have any bubbles. If I do, hopefully it'll be small enough. It won't be noticeable. Uh, anyway, that's it. I'll uh, resume this later. Okay, I filled the uh, holes epoxy of that cure. And this is what it now looks like. Uh, you can see it. I had a bubble area that the epoxy sunk, so there's a little divot in the middle of it slightly, but that could be sanded down or I could have filled it again. But uh, I'm not worried about making that spot perfect because this is a, you know, it's a used gun. There's a lot of character in the stock already with a bunch of little minor bumps and nicks anyway, so that's really doesn't matter. And if I put another sling in, I probably would drill out that same spot, but. Hopefully you can see that. It's not quite as shiny. What, what I did, I sanded it down. I get this double-sided paper and I stick it on, or, I'm sorry, I use uh, adhesive-backed sandpaper or I use double-sided tape and tape it to sandpaper and I, and I tape it to little sticks. So I basically used 180 on that and then I got those little hook and loop uh, 500 grit to finish it. Then I use some tongue oil and linseed oil mix uh, to put over all the sanded spots and over the epoxy. You can see it's a little darker. Probably if you're going to fill uh, walnut uh, with, with, with some epoxy and, and sawdust fill, you might want to take your walnut dust and mix it with cherry dust or hickory dust or something and get a little bit lighter shade. But that's okay. A dark spot don't stand out as much as a light spot, so it's a little darker. I don't think it really matters. Uh, like I said, it's a little dull where, where I had sanded through the old finish around it, but I'll let it secure and I'll do two or three coats and wipe it off and it'll eventually be very similar to the original. And this was the uh, just the plastic putty that was in a, in a hole that was, which was how I got it. I mean, that that don't look too particularly bad either, but uh, it's not as nice of a finish as the, the epoxy is or as durable. That that will scratch your neck if you bump it or you could dig it and get gouge it out. Uh, it's really to fill. I think this is uh, that plastic to fill little uh, finishing screw head holes. But that's it. That's it. And I can't decide if I'm going to go ahead and drill that out and put a sort of a, a standard <clears throat> standard strap on it. I keep thinking really for hunting and carrying it a single point like for an AR which would be the way to go. <laughs> You'll have it hanging but I've yet to figure out uh, a, a way to attach near the center of gravity. Uh, I really don't want to put anything on the side of the stock where it might crack it or lift it up in the uh, trigger or the hammer rather. The spring mechanism is inside here so you really got to be careful where you go through it. You know you could put something through it that, that would not break it but uh, you got to clear all your action there. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do but if I do anything with that I'll post it. If not, uh, I'll just put a regular strap on it. But that's pretty much it. Okay, not quite it. I noticed how dull it looked because that it soaked in. And I just wiped some more on it. And you can see like if it's shiny what it's going to look like. But it may take two or three coats of this. Put some of the, the uh, tongue oil on it. Let it soak in a little bit. Wipe off the excess. Let it dry. And then, uh, you know, do that until it's as shiny to the point of what you want to try to match the rest of the stock. But I think it's a nice finish. I don't know what this is. This is probably some kind of a clear polyurethane. But this is beautiful walnut wood uh, on this stock. I don't know if you can self you see that.
and as it soaks in, wipe more in, wipe off the excess. And then I think uh, when you get where you like it, you can kind of buff it out with some fine steel wool. Or maybe some kind of furniture polish would work. And one safety point, uh, when you're using like linseed oil or tongue oil or uh, anything that cures, if you wipe it on with a rag, uh, generally the uh, curing process for materials generates heat. And if this was saturated with uh, linseed oil, tongue oil, wadded up in a ball, or maybe thrown in a trash can, it'll generate heat, and you can actually start a fire with it. So uh, whenever I do this, I spread it out so it's got real good airflow and hanging on something, you know, not non combustible, just to be safe. I actually know a guy his, his house burnt down because he was refinishing furniture in his garage. And the rags he had, I think, in order to kind of control the fumes, uh, he had kind of wadded them up and put them in his trash can. And anyway, at the end, at the end, end of all, end result was fire department told him that. So I'm just passing that on uh, in case you never heard of that happening. It's just one more thing to be aware of out there. Okay, thanks for watching.